بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر ٹائپنگ اباؤٹ دا ہیرنگ لاس سو دا ڈیفینیشن آف دا ہیرنگ لاس ہیرنگ لاس از اے پارشل اور ٹوٹل انیبلٹی ٹو ہیئر ہیرنگ لاس مے بی پارشل اور کمپلیٹ ہیرنگ لاس مے بی پریزنٹ ایٹ برتھ اور ایکوائر Hearing loss may occur in one ear or both ear. So the hearing loss. Hearing. Hearing. Loss. Hearing loss is the inability to hear sound. Inability to hear sound. sound of the surrounding classification of the hearing loss hearing loss are classified into main two category organic and inorganic the organic are classified into two other main categories conductive hearing loss and sensory neural hearing loss the sensory neural hearing loss are called cochlear they are sensory in neural hearing loss are neural that may further two types peripheral that is eight nerve problem and neural that is central auditory pathway problem today we are discussing about the conductive hearing loss conductive hearing loss are a problem in the conduction of the, in the conduction of the sound waves to uh, from the external ear to the cochlea the conductive conductive hearing loss conductive hearing loss is any pathway that disrupt the passage of sound wave from external ear to the cochlea the main problem in the um, conductive hearing loss or the external ear problem tympanic membrane problem middle ear problem ossicular problem pathway up to the stapedio vestibular joint number 1 is the external ear problem external ear problem number 2 is tympanic membrane problem tympanic membrane problem number 3 is the middle ear problem middle ear problem and number 4 is the ossicular problem that is problem ossicular problem problem in the ossicle and number 5 is the pathway up to stapedio vestibular joint pathway up to stapedio vestibular joint the characteristic of the conductive hearing loss are negative rhinitis that is bone conduction is greater than air conduction characteristic characteristics of conductive hearing loss number 1 negative rhinitis that is bone conduction is greater than air conduction and number 2 is weber lateralize to the poor air weber lateralize to the poor ear and number 
थ्री एज नॉर्मल बोन कंडक्शन नॉर्मल बोन कंडक्शन एंड नंबर फोर एज लो फ्रीक्वेंसी इफेक्टेड मोर लो फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी एफेक्टेड मोर एंड नंबर फाइव इज द बोन कंडक्शन इज ग्रेटर देन द एयर कंडक्शन दैट इज अल्टीमेटली शोज द रिजल्ट नंबर फाइव इज बोन कंडक्शन इज ग्रेटर देन द एयर कंडक्शन शोज बाई आडियोमेट्री आडियो मेट्री नंबर सिक्स इज मोर गैप बिटवीन द एयर एंड बोन कंडक्शन मोर एयर बोन कंडक्शन गैप कंडक्शन गैप दैट इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ कंडक्टिव हेयरिंग लॉस लॉस इज नॉट मोर देन द सिक्सटी डिसेबल इन द कंडक्टिव हेयरिंग लॉस नंबर सेवन इज द लॉस ऑफ हेयरिंग इज नॉट मोर देन Sixty decibel. So the conducting hearing loss, the sound uh, affected not more than the sixty decibel. In good speech, there is good speech. Speech is not affected mainly. Speech waves that are not affected. The etiology of the conductive hearing loss are mainly two. That is congenital and acquired etiology. Etiology are two. The number one is the congenital. That is present at birth. Number two is the acquired. The congenital are number one. Natal atresia. Atresia and number two is the stapes. The stapes foot plate fixation. Stapes foot plate fixation that is fixed. Foot plate number three is congenital cholestatoma. Number three is the congenital Cholestatoma, cholestatoma, and number four is ossicular discontinuity. Number four is ossicular discontinuity. The acquired causes, the acquired causes. or uh, any obstruction in the ear so the acquired causes that is number 2 classification number 2 classification acquired causes the acquired causes are any obstruction number 1 is the obstruction 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 or any obstruction in the ear canal example foreign body that is foreign body wakes tumors atresia of the canal atresia of the canal and swelling 
Number two is the middle ear problem. Number two is the middle ear problem. The middle ear problem can be perforated tympanic membrane. Number one is the perforated tympanic membrane R number 2 is fluid in the middle ear example otitis media or homotympanum number 2 is fluid that is otitis media due to otitis media or hemotympanum that is blood in the tympanic membrane is hemotympanum number three is mass in the middle ear mass in the middle ear in the middle ear and number four is the mass can be benign or malignant they may be benign or malignant number four is the disruption of ossicle due to any cause like trauma chronic separative otitis media cholesteatoma number four is the disruption of ossicle due to any cause the disruption disruption of ossicle due to any cause like trauma chronic separative otitis media like trauma chronic separative Titus media number four is the otosclerosis or adhesive otitis media or tympanosclerosis number five is the otosclerosis auto sclerosis Adhesive otitis media, adhesive otitis media, and tympanosclerosis, and tympanosclerosis. And number six is the eustachian tube blockage eustachian tube blockage number six is the eustachian tube blockage so friend this is the our first lecture about the heading loss the hearing loss is the inability to hear the sound. The number first classification is the conductive hearing loss. So, conductive hearing loss is due to external ear problem or the tympanic membrane or middle ear problem or ossicular problem or pathway up to stapedio vestibular joint. These are the problem in the conductive pathway of the hearing system to conduct the sound waves from the external ear then to the middle ear then into the internal ear up to the cochlea. This is the conductive hearing loss problem characteristic of the 
conductive hearing loss or negative urinary test that is a negative urinary test bone conduction is greater than the air conduction and number two is the vapor lateralized to the poorer ear number three characteristic is the normal bone conduction because there is no problem in the bone pathway that is labyrinthine pathway number four is the low frequency sound are affected more the characteristic of the conductive hearing loss is that there the low frequency sound are affected more and the bone conduction is greater than the air conduction audiometry shows the result more air bone conduction gap in the conductive hearing loss loss of hearing is not more than 60 decibel etiology of the conductive hearing loss is two number one congenital congenital due to metal atresia stapes foot plate fixation congenital polysteatoma or secular discontinuity number two is acquired uh, in the acquired number first is the obstruction that is foreign body obstruction due to foreign body wakes tumors atresia of the canal in sweeting of the ear number two is the middle ear problem middle ear problem is uh, number one is the perforated tympanic membrane fluid due to otitis media or hemotampanum that is blood in the tympanic membrane mass in the middle ear mass can be benign or malignant and disruption of the ossicle, ossicle due to any cause and trauma chronic separative otitis media number five the autosclerosis adhesive otitis media and tympanosclerosis number six is station tube blockage this is the hearing loss problem in the next lecture we will discuss the management of hearing loss